we hustle daily what's going on hustle nation welcome back to another video it's your boy big play ray coming to y'all with another insurance auto auction walk around man we about to walk around the insurance auto auction um i'm about to show you guys what these uh chargers and challengers with all the mopar products you know what i'm saying i'm gonna show y'all um all these cars because i know a lot of people that mopar is winning right now you know what i'm saying a lot of people buying them a lot of people wrecking them you know what i'm saying so it's a lot of wrecked cars in uh here but we about to check some cars out you know you can get these cars cheaper now you're not going to get a hellcat for five thousand dollars you're not going to get a scat pack for five thousand dollars right um you know i've had some people in the comments were saying stuff like that like that's not happening right but there's plenty of uh hellcats and chargers and everything i'm just going to get the ones that i can get so i'm not going to get every single one but i'm gonna just show y'all what i am getting so make sure y'all like comment subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell uh, hit that notification bell join the hustle nation if y'all haven't done so already if you like content like this make sure y'all hit that button uh subscribe button and that notification bell so y'all can be updated when your boy upload a video let me say this as well so i do not know the buy it now prices of these cars you know what i'm saying this is the type of this is the auction the, you know how auctions work right auctions work the highest bidder wins that's how auctions work so for you guys who are going to be getting in the comments say how much that, how much do they want for that whoever's willing to pay the most is that's how much it's gonna sell for you feel me make sure y'all follow me on instagram link in the description below we hustle daily.co make sure y'all follow me man and make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if y'all interested in learning how to buy and sell cars at the auction uh learning how to flip your money learning how to make money learning how to properly inspect cars whether from an auction private party how to get your dealer license i got check out the website i got a whole lot of uh testimonials on there and everything so make sure y'all check it out but we're gonna get right into it let me show y'all the website first let's get it what's up hustle nation this video has been sponsored to you by whdacademy.com the online course that's going to teach you everything you need to know about the auction game all my tips on how to properly inspect cars and most importantly how to make money as you can see i've been doing this for a while and as you can also see i have plenty of testimonials on how i've helped others gain success in this business so if you're interested in learning be sure to click the link in the description below all right so we got a Dodge Charger RT. It says it's the RT Plus. We got some more pinstripes. Loving the pinstripes. See the damage. Bumpers coming off. Nice little wheels on it. Got the Hemi badge. They added the pinstripes again. Going all the way back to the car. Back. Okay, I see what they were going for. This is an older model. But this one, it's not bad actually, as far as damage go. I don't really see too much damage on it. It's a 2013 Challenger. Um, let me see, 190,000 miles on this one. Ooh, sorry, leather. They could have put RT right there. Leather in the back, leather in the front. Ugh. They know they could have put that RT right there. Um, this one got paddle shifters. Oh, we got push and start. Motor knocking a little bit, but it's quiet down. Challenger. No sunroof on the Challenger. AC, feel like it's blowing. How that sound to y'all? That sound decent or what? Let me try to get y'all some, uh, what you call it? Sounds kind of solid, if you ask me. Um, it sounds kind of solid. It sounds decent. Let's look up under the hood. They only got nine hundred dollars on the bid right now. That's pre bid. Five seven V eight. Five seven V eight. 
Motor look good, it got a salvage, but it's only because of this. So you're looking at, well, they tried to put the bumper on halfway, you know? They got it freaking old known for dear life. You push it up, it may be on there a little better. It's just a bottle piece. They got to attach, see the in there, what you call it is gone, the inner uh, fender liner is gone. Got some plugs just hanging and dangling right there. Other than that, I think this one's still right, man. What y'all think about this one, though? This one definitely get cheaper. Definitely can get this one cheaper for you Mopar guys. 100%. No sunroof. Added the pinstripes for you, though. Let me know what y'all think in them comments. What y'all think this thing gonna go for. But definitely can get this thing cheaper. 5.7, not the 3.92 or the Hemi, but 5.7 should get y'all where y'all need to go. All right, we got... A Dodge Charger for y'all with some wheels on it. Looks decent. No damage on this one, pretty much. Just a bumper, really. That's pretty much it. Another V6, I believe. But I just had to show to y'all because it doesn't seem like as much damage on it. We've got the inner fender liner coming out. They gave you all four rims. Cloth interior, kind of dirty, though. 2012. Does it have power? I think it does. Maybe let's see. Dang. Oh, foul smell in here. Like, really foul. Like, ugh. Nose is burning. Definitely a V6, but it does crank up, man. Mileage says 196. Got a lot of miles on it, but it runs and drives, look like. See his pipes is smoking out that thing. Chicken wing. So yeah, definitely get this one cheaper right here. I'm digging the wheels a little bit, a little bit. Oh, in the front. Didn't even see that. And we got something holding on to the headlight right here. V6. So, yeah, this might be another good one on the list. What y'all think about it? Couldn't be that much damage to uh, money to replace. You need another bumper or... Bondo or something like that can get that going. I'm not sure. Might be able to uh, save it. They did a little nice color match with the wheels. What y'all think about it? Let me know in the comments below. I'll hit the gas for y'all a little bit. Let's see how it sounds. Sounds good. Y'all let me know. All right, we got this Hellcat right here. Front end damage with the blue stripe, like the blue stripe. Looks like it hit the motor. Yeah, it hit the motor definitely because the belt is all off and everything. So it definitely hit the motor. Does it say run and drive? No, it doesn't say if it runs and drives or not. That's crazy, got a Copart sticker on here and an insurance auto auction sticker on here. So it's been to both places, but as you can see the damage. Yeah, that's pretty bad there. I'm not sure if the motor even still runs. Got the Hellcat wheels on there. Had 5,800 miles on it. Big boy wheels, big boy Brembo's some big wheels some 20s yeah i kind of i'm just kind of digging the stripe i ain't gonna lie to y'all the, the stripe is kind of nice what y'all think y'all like the stripe or no stripe y'all take the stripe or no stripe yeah, it comes right off though but you see the hellcat emblem you see the back of it look on the inside of this thing you got your 
airbags deployed, leather interior, leather interior, the all black, plain Jane, all black. Can't go wrong with all black though, right? See what the front looking like. This one actually been here for a minute. I guess it's now probably about to be for sale. Ooh, they got me the red key. Yeah, red key. SRT. Give me the red key. Let me see. Y'all see what's going on? Leather, 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 leather with the... Yow! Yow! Okay, y'all see what's going on, though. Probably no power. I like the red gauges right here. Definitely no power, though. They got the SRT mode, lost control. That's why y'all cars ain't be ending up like this, man. Y'all don't know how to act. You know what I mean? Slow down, buddy. And they still got the sticker on the... Uh, on the seat they took the sicker off this seat though sunroof not the suede or anything like that but it is a sunroof at least they, at least they get you a, um at least they get you a sunroof because i could have sworn i don't know if all hellcats got the sunroof y'all let me know in the comments below y'all know more about these cars than me because i i know i've gotten in a scat pack before and it definitely didn't have the sunroof so but what y'all think about this like i say i don't know if it runs or drives or not but what y'all think about the damage they could have did better with that y'all think about the damage so you got the front i mean the back and the front so probably can get this thing cheaper but it's in bad condition you know so let's keep moving i know i've showed y'all this one before i think i have rather uh hellcat this color nice See the damage on this one. Ooh wee, ooh wee. Hit the tire and everything. That Hellcat badge still standing strong though. Got the big boy Brembo's on it. Messed up the whole tire. Look, that's this dude's fault. Stop going so fast, man. Damn. I don't even think I can lift. You can't even lift this hood right here. definitely hit the motor in this one sure for sure they don't say if this one run and drive either because you can see the motor is hitting the dam over here too so it definitely shift the motor see how much room it is over there compared to over here man oh man tow this one up tow this one up hit the glass dark windows on this thing Looks like they might have added that right there. SRT, all black leather again. Still got the 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 uh, plastic over the mats. Didn't make it even too far, man. Come on, y'all. So this is one that doesn't have the sunroof. I was right. So like I said, some Hellcats. They put that on there too. Like I say, some Hellcats. They don't have the. Uh, what you call it the sunroof which this one don't no sunroof for this hellcat at all do y'all see one i do not see one and they took they uh they uh stickers off they uh seats but other than that man pretty much the same red gauges i like the red gauges but other than that pretty much the same man these are pretty plain cars to me you know they they're pretty plain but they they is tripping with this. They didn't even give you the damn sunroof, man. Come on now. How you not gonna do the sunroof? There's so many versions of this car, it's crazy. But damn, I think all Hellcat should at least have a sunroof, all of them. But this one, as y'all can see, does it. So another cheap one that's probably go kind of cheap. And when I say cheap, it's still, you know, you're still gonna have to pay for one of these, you know? But I'm not sure if this one running and driving or not, but we're gonna keep it moving. All right, we found another one. We found a Charger GT. So the GT is all wheel drive, if I'm not mistaken. Um, mm -hmm, Y'all know where we going, right? Yeah, buddy, it's your fault. It's your fault, buddy. You all, you only in the GT and you going crazy like that. You supposed to have all wheel drive, you supposed to be in control. What's happening here though? Why is this? Did I really just break that off? Like, was that really? How did that get cut like that? It got cut like with precision. Yeah, 3.6. So they y'all still be trying to go. Y'all still be trying to go crazy in the V6s, huh? Y'all don't care. V8, 
Y'all don't care. Y'all don't care. Y'all just don't care. Y'all don't care about nothing but going fast. Even in the GT. Y'all don't know how to act, man. Y'all see what I'm doing, though? Damn. Pretty sure this is dude's fault, man. You're supposed to have all-wheel drive. You're supposed to be in control of this, man. What's your excuse? V6 and all-wheel drive? What's your excuse? No sunroof. That's what I'm saying. It's just like, you know, uh, you know, Dodge. They, it's just like everything the same. They give you a little more, but you know, the buttons is different. They give you the black gauges instead of the, the red ones. But it's just, I don't know, man. They so plain Jane. Give you the wheels. There go your pieces. You know what I mean? Well, I say, yeah, no sunroof in this one, but y'all let me know if y'all think this was dude's fault or, you know, what's his excuse for crashing? You know, somebody ride head on to him or what? Nah, man, it's this dude's fault. Hey, look, it's all you Mopar guys' fault. It's all your fault. You know what I mean? You see more Mopars in here than anything. You know what I'm saying? So it's all y'all fault. Let's keep moving, though. Alrighty, we got a different. I don't think this is that charcoal gray color that destroyer gray. It's a different type of color to me. Cause the other gray look a darker than this to me. But anyway, we got another challenger. Y'all, let me know if this is this dude's fault or not. And I'm not hating on you, Mopar guys. I'm just saying y'all need to slow it down. I don't see the Camaros in here like this. I don't see the Mustangs in here like this. But you, Mopar guys, y'all going crazy. Let's see. We got. Oh, it's still crank up. Look like. We got the cloth seats, airbags, from up here and from on the dashboard. Same old, same old, little screen, gauges. Look at that. Man, he still got the mats on here. They ain't even had this car that long, man. 2020, man. 2020, dog. You already wrecking your 2020, man. And here it is, what we all came to see right here. Tow up the wheel. I don't know. I don't know if that char if that's charcoal gray or not. It's not even a V8 though, look at him man, look what he done did. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. You Mopar guys ought to be ashamed of y'all self. So. Can't believe y'all, the way y'all acting. <laughs> I can't believe the way y'all acting when y'all get these cars. I just can't believe it. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> oh man, I'm just messing with y'all though, for real, for real. You know, I'm not hating on the Mopar guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. But for real though, I don't see the Mustangs in here like this. I don't see the Camaros in here like this. But look, y'all everywhere. Look. Come on, bro. Y'all is everywhere, dog. Come on. Okay. This one different. Got the red interior. This the older one though. This the 2014 model. But check the interior out in this one though. That's different, right? That's different. With the back. You don't see those too often, do you? But look, man, I ain't trying to, you know, crack on y'all. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Trying to drift, huh? Was you trying to drift? <clears throat> yeah, this is the older body style, y'all. Y'all know I'm just messing with y'all, though. Damn, what the hell? He was trying to tie it on, so you done drift your car, then you try to tie your bumper on. Got some different wheels on here. And look. They all be hit in the front. Y'all always crashing into somebody. Come on. Not even the V6. I mean, not in the V8. V6s. Y'all going crazy in the V6s. Y'all more par. Y'all more par guys. Y'all don't care. Y'all go fast. It don't matter. Y'all got the four cylinder or the V6. It don't matter to y'all. Got another one for y'all. He done clipped the pole, trying to drift in his cha uh, cha Challenger. He done clipped the pole. Look at him. Boy, I tell y'all guys. I tell you about you guys. Let me see. He only had the V6. And he doing all that. Acting a fool. Man, I can't even. Oh, the things is stuck. I ain't gonna even open these. But I think it's the V6, though. Y'all see what's going on. Got a nice little green on here, though, right? Y'all like that green or what? The green look decent. 
Got some different type of stripes on this one, huh? I don't know if I really like the splits in the stripes, me personally. Oh, damn, sorry. Uh, no leather, we got that cloth. And this button's gonna crank up too, got the little screen. Some of the screens don't have the little buttons on the screen like we've been seeing. But they all pretty much the same. No sunroof in this one. Damn, they had a dog or something. But yeah, gauges are black. So, what y'all think, man? And y'all know I'm just playing around with the, you know, whose fault it is and stuff like that. I don't know really whose fault it is. It's just, I'm just blaming it on you Mopar guys. You know what I mean? It's your guys' fault. All right. So we got another one, a nice blue hat to show y'all this blue. I think it's gonna be a V6 though. Yeah, it is gonna be a V6, but like I say. Mopar guys, you guys don't discriminate. Let's see, blue, nice blue on this thing. I like this blue, you can see it's buckled up in the back. Definitely could probably get this one cheaper, real cheaper, really cheap. Damn, trunk stuck. It's the V6, so it'll definitely probably not go for too, 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 too much. I'm not sure for, for sure what it'll go for. But you can see the wheel is bent. But it definitely needs some work, man, because that's kind of bad right there. Not kind of bad. That is bad. That's really bad. So it looks like somebody smacked this person right here. Let's see what the inside looking like. Oh, there's your bumper and all of that. Or, shoot, maybe somebody didn't smack him. Maybe they... I don't, you never know, man. Never know, dude. So we got the cloth interior. I'm digging this blue, though. Blue with the black wheels. They went crazy on the blue. Got the wipes. The little baby wipes. They even got the blue lighter down there. They going crazy. Blue steering wheel cover. They went crazy on this one. Let me see. I don't think this drink got no power. It do got power, too. And he was smoking on him. What you call it? See, it's probably gonna crank right up too. Motor got a little tick on it to it for 30, 30, 3,900 miles, 4,000 4, miles. Got a little tick to it, didn't it? It sound all right though. So, man, y'all see what's going on though. What y'all think? See, the motor sound kind of loud to me. I don't know, is that me or what? That sound kind of loud to y'all as well. Definitely sound loud to me. But that blue go crazy on this thing. Super crazy. Y'all know we not done though. Get that blue nasty. Y'all know we not done. We got an older body style right here for you. Dodges everywhere. This one, um, bumper going a little bit right here. It is the Hemi window busted window busted and disgusted same over here too same with the other one back bumper going this one is way better though because it's not all smashed in like the other one is as you can see it is the rt version Let's see leather Yeah, the Dodge, they pretty much kept it the same as far as the seats and the door panels and the interior, everything pretty much the same. Yeah, even the knobs, everything pretty much the same, man. That's what I don't like. I think they could have did, you know what I mean? I think they could have did a little better. But this is a 2013, by the way. Some people still like these body styles. They decent, though. Let's go on and keep it moving though. All right, so we got a white one. Hold on, we got a Challenger over here too. Oh, and we got a Challenger over there too, that red one. Told you about you guys. <laughs> so we got a, uh, the freaking bumper is on the back of the car. Oh man, almost messed up my glove there. So hitting the back, ding, hitting the front. 
Dang, trying to drift in your V6, huh? Trying to drift in your V6. Oh my gosh. So this is the V6 window. I know y'all probably don't really care too much to see this, but I'm just walking through so I can show y'all what y'all out here doing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all everywhere. Let's go look at the white one. We got, well, that's a Challenger. Let's go look at the Charger right here, white, with the wheels on it. Nice and plain, plain and simple V6 though. It's the V6 joint, but it's plain and simple. It looks cool, it looks cool. It looks all right. Some of y'all don't mind rebuilding these, you know. Airbags. Let's see what a real damage is. But I think this one looks plain and simple, cool, cool plain, plain, simple, cool, white with the wheels. I think it would have looked more aggressive if it probably had a spoiler on it. But this one looks straight, all white. Can't beat that white, and it got metallic in the paint too. I'm probably sure y'all can't see it. Nice little, what's these, 22s? Yep, 22s on there. With the metallic popping out. It got a nice little stance on it. it got a nice little stance. It do, it do, it do. Make sure it's the V6. That, that paint kind of hidden. Yep, V6. Where's the damage at, though? That side look good. I guess right here, that's it. Okay, right there. Yeah, right there. I guess that's good enough to make an airbag pop out, right? And then we got your Challenger over here, man. Y'all everywhere. Y'all everywhere. This V6 too, though. Let's see if we can find y'all some more V8s, all the older ones. No, y'all really don't want to see the v6s like that so yeah but y'all get the drift though man v6 v8 y'all don't care man y'all driving reckless out here all right had to check this thing out it's a dodge durango it's the gt though so it's not like the rt or nothing now i did see a rt sale the other day at a whole different auction uh, sold for 9900 with fees and everything. That's probably like 10 4 10 5 um, I think these are some aggressive looking trucks. I like the way the back backs, the back of them look. Um, so yeah, the RT did sell. Look at you guys. Come on. You guys are everywhere. Oh my gosh. But I seen an RT sale for 90 um 900 like i say that's probably like 10 5 10 6 out the door um it did have 198,000 miles on it and it was a uh like i say the rt so the rt badge was in the you know steering i mean uh head headrest and everything it was a nice truck but uh it was a 2014 i think but what do y'all think about that of it being um uh, 198,000 miles so that's 200 basically thousand miles and it sold for 9900 let me see what motor this one got in it just for and then we're gonna get back to some v8s for y'all so v6 this one let's see check you guys out over here so another older one older ones back to back Front end damage. Mm-hmm. 2013. Cloth. And then you got this one. Older body style. 3.5. 2008 model. I don't even see no damage on this one. one cranks up and everything I don't think this was for sale though I just seen it when I let me see we'll crank it up though see what it sound like yeah this motor check engine light man check engine lights always on on these cars man but y'all see what's going on but I'm digging that red 
on this Durango. My mom actually wants one of these Durangos. I like the Durango, man. I like the way it looks. It's like an aggressive truck, you know? So what y'all think about that uh, price I told y'all for that 19, uh, I mean, 2014 um, Durango, 198,000 miles, 9,900, 10, six out the door. Let me know in the comments below. Here we got another one, y'all. This one got that stripe. I remember when I started seeing these when they first came out and I didn't know what the stripe meant. But you can see that the wheels, the wheels actually look kind of cool on this one. It is the Hemi. For you boys that want to go fast. For you boys that want to go fast. It might be saying that I'm looking at too many V6s. It is the Hemi. You know what I mean? So this one got the stripe though. I remember when I started seeing the stripe. The stripe that just go along the car on one side. Hemi. And it goes all the way to the back. You know what I'm saying? But I didn't know that it's also like that in the interior. So the stripe, they got the blue stitching in here, right? With the stripe, they actually go up the seat. So that's pretty cool. Give you a little stripe right there. This one got power. Chevy still doing the same door panels. Not Chevy Dodge, my bad. Same door panels. More part right there with the stripe going up the seat with the Mopar badge right there. Y'all see what's going on. So, oh, we're gonna try to crank it for y'all, might as well, right? Sounds like a beast, don't it? They changed the shift knob. They got the Mopar badge over there. Number 1205. This is a 2011. It did not got the sunroof. You know what I'm saying? Or none of that. 105,000 miles, so let me see how much money they got on this one for y'all. I'll tell y'all right now. Let's look at the motor too. Let's see. We got a 2011 Dodge Charger, 105,000 miles. The current bid right now on this thing is 35.25, and it's a 2011 Dodge Charger Mopar 11. Let's see a little Mopar badge. I wonder if these going well i don't see these often no more so maybe these are kind of rare or something i don't know the cover is all off but is the oil stick in there the oil thing hey oh and it got the mopar rail too so that's pretty cool k n filter they got on here oh so yeah there you go yep what y'all think about this one? Let me know in the comments below, but that's the current bid. Current bid really don't mean nothing. Current bid is just, uh, I mean, not current bid, pre-bid. Pre-bid don't really mean nothing. When the auction starts, that's when people really start pulling out the money. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. And we got another badge here too. Mopar design, check that out. All right, we got another one in this body style right here um it is hemi the hemi badges are real low though that's crazy but y'all can see where the damage is right here in the front not gonna be able to open the hood well i could but i'm not gonna take the tape off so this is a 2014 model i don't know that just seemed really low to me i'm not sure maybe it's me but damn how many of the damn hubcaps gonna be uh yeah, they, they, I don't know. I think they added some badges and stuff to this, but you can see the RT. Cloth in this one. Is this really a 5.7? Let's see how it sounds. So they might put them badges on. Y'all know how y'all be doing it. Sometimes you Mopar guys, y'all be putting, well, I can't blame it on the Mopar guys. I'm just messing with y'all, but Y'all know how some people be doing it. They, um, your car be the V6, but they put the badges on there. You know, like you have a V6 
Camaro, which you put the SS badge on there. I can't really say that sounds like a V8 to me. But it definitely has a motor knocking. The motor sounds horrible. I must say that this is a V6. That's what I'm gonna say, I don't know. I don't know though. It had the RT badge and stuff. Man, I'm so curious, I wanna peek, but I ain't gonna mess with it. Let's see. Oh, I can see it. Uh. No, I think it's the V7. It's, yeah, it's definitely the V8, so. Yep, V8, let's keep moving. All right, we got another one. Let's look at the damage right off the black. I like the red outline on the wheels, kind of like the red line that Chevy's doing and stuff like that when there's Malibu's and stuff. But we got a red stripe going down the front. We got the damage. Get you a good view of the damage. Look like just the bumper. Don't look like too much of the hit. Other than that, up oh, we got a 3.6. Dressed up like a V8, but it's only the V6. 2013 model, no sunroof. Ninety-eight thousand miles. They got third. They got three thousand one hundred and twenty-five dollars on this one. So it's the Challenger Rally Redline Edition, twenty thirteen. Oh, it's the older body style. I'm just now looking at the lights. So look at the interior. See if they give you a good interior or what yeah they gave you some leather in here some hangling and dangling right here i don't know what that is what this is it's supposed to be stuck up here deep but anyway they got leather and everything in there nothing on the seats just they gave you leather let's see push the start oh it's not even a v8 you gotta start this it's not starting i got my feet on the brake it's not starting though so no sunroof nothing but y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comments below it was dressed up like a v8 but it's not the v8 and all right y'all hope y'all enjoyed today's video man um hopefully y'all learned something from this video man y'all can learn to slow down slow your booties down you know what i mean you mopar cars guys are going crazy um we got a couple of hellcats and um you know um scat packs in i know it wasn't a whole bunch but i got a whole bunch of other videos with you know what i'm saying them in the um them uh with them in a in a uh in the videos hellcats and stuff so i'll put some of them on the bottom of the screen but i appreciate y'all watching appreciate y'all tuning in again make sure y'all leave a comment if y'all like this type of stuff make sure y'all subscribe to the channel hit that notification bell make sure y'all go to whdacademy.com if you're interested in learning how to buy and sell cars i appreciate y'all man i love y'all it's your boy ray big play ray with the hater blocker zone today i'm out of here